to show you how you can make this UI in your Swift project. So this is a card and there's this illustration and there's a title, subtitle and um, a footnote. So to use this glass morphism or glass UI effect, you have to use a package which is this git repository over here. You can just click this download code and uh, copy this icon to copy the git url and go to the xcode file then swift package and paste this url here so i already have this as a dependency so it will not be added again so first things first let's import the swift UI x so as you can see from the layout that we have a single card and inside the single card there's this V stack going on. So there's, there's a V stack and there's this illustration, a title and other text. So let's embed this in a V stack. Let's make the font title and the font weight bot, uh, dot bolt and I'll just copy this and oh by the way let's resume our preview over here all right so I don't want this and I just want subhead line and this is going to be semi bold and let's align the items dot leading to align the items to left side and there's going to be a spacing of eight points all right so this is looking good and let's add an illustration So you can see the preview that the image is a very big size. Let's resize this and make aspect ratio. So to use this glass effect, you have to use another view called visual effect blur view and add the parentheses and press B we're going to be using the second one so as you can see there's these three properties blur style vibrancy style and the content the contest the content is here so we're going to copy this to here and I'm just going to use dot dark there's many other options I'm gonna show you later on we don't really need this so okay so this is actually taking shape let's use light for now and you can see that there is no effect but if I use dot dark so this is actually taking shape for now I'm gonna be using dot light and let's embed this in a Z stack and let's add an image as a background Resize this. All right. So there's this blur thing going on on top and top and bottom side of the screen. So let's define the frame of the visual effect blur view. So the weight is going to be. 320 and the height is going to be 300 and you can see that there's this um, pointy thing on our blur view so we don't really want that let's mask our corner radius 
so it's going to be 30 and dot continuous so let's add some padding to the v stack and it's actually taking shape So let's add another text over here. All right, so this is going to be a caption font. And let's add the color. There won't be any font weight to this one. So at first I'm going to be, I'm gonna add the foreground color let's copy this to here and I'm gonna use opacity of dot 0 0.5 over here and 0 0.3 on the last one okay so let's use dot dark and see this is the glass view that I was talking about and to make it dynamic let's extract this sub view let's name this glass effect card and resume or preview and if you type over here title string and let's use a default value of computer algorithm so let's copy this um, three times so the second one is going to be this this is going to be subtitle and this is the faculty by default it's going to be my name let's resume the preview all right so to use this let's add the title instead of the hard-coded text and this and we're going to be using this to inside uh, to insert the faculty value inside a string so if i come over here oh i guess i somehow <laughs> I, I guess I somehow forgot to press enter plus effect card view let's rename this and if you just type here computer algorithm Let's put this inside a stack and copy this. So there's going to be two of them. And add the second one. So you can see that the values are actually changing. make it bigger so the faculties are different the course name is different and the course code is different so this is actually using the dynamic data that we are passing from the parentheses over here and I forgot to add a shadow dot shadow so 
So I'm going to be using a custom shadow, color, radius, and X and Y. So color dot black dot opacity of 0 0.5. And the radius is going to be 30. X is 0 and Y is going to be 15. So this is actually half of the radius. So now you can see this is actually looking good. And to make it a scroll view, you can just um, embed in scroll view. And let's add some other things. And to hide the scroll bar, you can shows indicator to false and there's not going there, there's not going to be any indicator on the right side let's add some padding voila there you go this is glass morphism in swifty by Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification. And if you have any suggestion, please write down your suggestion in the comment below so that I can make it work. Thank you.